A lot of technology stocks are on a tear. At least one of them shouldn't be. Let's talk with Zach Buckley. He's with Buckley Capital Partners at the Value Investing Congress. Good to talk to you, Zach. Nice to talk to you, too. Now, you presented an idea, a short idea, for Splunk. Yes, I did. All right, tell me a little bit about what you learned when you started researching this company and why you think it should be shorted. I think the biggest problem is there's a potential pricing war where there's a lot of new competitors coming into the market. There's a lot of venture capital going into this field right now. And so I believe pricing will come down. Splunk has its products priced substantially above where competitors are. And I think that's going to be difficult for them. What do you look at when you consider what kind of companies to short? Generally just looking for broken business models or bad business models. Um, Splunk doesn't have a broken business model, but I think they have something that's unsustainable right now. They've been growing very rapidly. And I think given the new competitors coming into the market, that's going to change. Do you think Splunk is the exception to the rule in technology, or do you think technology is looking a little uh, ripe for selling? I think the tech companies are definitely overvalued in general. It really is company dependent, but there are plenty of other companies like Splunk that are trading at, at very high price of sales with negative operating margins. Let me ask you about Facebook. At what price does Facebook become a value stock? I would say probably around seven to ten dollars a share. So I'm not short sure Facebook myself, but I think that there's still a lot of, of downside from here. Well, what's the outlook for being a value investor in this market today? You just have to be selective. So there's still undervalued stocks. Maybe you have to look a little bit harder because the markets are obviously up, but there's still plenty of value today. Maybe just tougher to find in the tech space, for example, but I look in multiple different industries and so. You told a great story during your presentation of how you became a short seller and that was actually, you like China, you exactly. like China stocks yeah. for a while. What happened? What is the China play, if any, right now? I don't invest in China really anymore. I think it's, it's just too difficult on the long side. And on the short side, most of the frauds have been uncovered at this point. And so it's much more difficult finding those frauds. It, it used to be, I would walk into a, a factory and it was empty. And it was pretty easy to short that company. They had no, no production whatsoever. And that was totally different than what they had said in their SEC filings. And so that doesn't happen anymore. The frauds that are left are very sophisticated. And so it's, it's much more difficult to find them at this point. Generally speaking, do you prefer to look within the US now? Yes, I do. I focus almost entirely on the US. And any other sectors catching your eye as of late? Not specifically. I really just look at specific businesses, and it's, it's over several different sectors. So I nothing specific. Zach Buckley, good to talk to you. Thanks, Thanks so, so much. much. Appreciate it. I'm Rhonda Schapler. This is Reuters.